Okay, wait. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. So, I think you can hear me. Disregard whatever I said before. And, yeah. Today, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. And, yeah. So, basically, what I am trying to do is... A really simple no it's not a simple thing it's a it's a really uh, complex thing and I'm really scared so I need support and yeah so basically what I'm going to do is a image to sound converter let me see and yeah, I did it. I did it right. So, wait, let me... First of all, let me... Uh, put it to dark theme. Okay. So, what are we trying to do today is basically taking a picture, an arbitrary picture, and basically scanning it uh in uh in every rows uh maybe or columns it's equivalent and basically taking the grayscale uh value of every single pixel in that row and converting it to an hypothetical um amplitude of a of a frequency component and then um, based on that we can rebuild the original signal through Fourier transform um, it's not that that um, correct actually but it's kind of the same. Let's let's just uh, say it's kind of an inverse Fourier transform, considering every row or column of uh, of the the image as if it was a an amplitude uh, for the, the a specified frequency in the spectrum of the signal. So, yeah, as you might know, uh, the, for example, um, imagine this is the diagram for the uh, frequency uh, for uh, the frequency spectrum for a given signal. And this is, imagine this is uh, the, the lower uh, limit for human hearing and this is the higher limit and this is the uh, frequency axis and this is the amplitude axis and yeah we're gonna disregard the fact that this is in Hertz and this is in decibel usually we are just gonna say that the maximum value here is 255 and we are not going to disregard the fact that this is in frequency and this is uh, the unit inserts because the library we're going to use uh, it's, uh, uh, uses as an input the, the frequency. So, yeah, I fucked up the sentence. But yeah, we can imagine this as being the a the row for the image this is the uh, the first row imagine those are the, the pixels and so dot 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 uh, and this is the last pixel and every single pixel will have a different grayscale value so we're going to convert from RGB to grayscale and imagine 
this is kind of this this is zero and this is pretty high this is and we're we're basically using it as as the the amplitude of the frequency and so maybe as you might know but i don't want to see as you might know because you might not know basically the fourier fourier said that well actually it, it didn't say that he observed and proven that every single um, every single function can be expressed as an infinite sum of sinusoidal signal and yeah it was really fucking clever and basically we and for that reason we can create any given function maybe I should say pre periodic but I'm not sure about that but I think I, it's uh, but I think is that it it must be periodic and the fact that music is based upon periodic signals unless you do you don't know is yeah so we're pretty much halfway done because of Fourier being a genius and I hope it's Fourier maybe it's Laplace because the Fourier transform is a particular case of the Laplace transform but yeah my, I, it's it's kind of strange yeah basically if you're interested in that uh, the Laplace for, uh, transform I don't even remember how it works, but basically, I know that Fourier, the Fourier transform uses uh, only imaginary values, while the Laplace transform, uh, the input uh, can be can span throughout the complex plane. I don't know, <clears throat> and it's really it's stuff that. Uh, we care but not too much about it so first of all i'd say to make a test image so that we can test how uh, maybe if it uh, uh, if it works so i'm thinking about the uh, top should be the maximum frequency and the bottom the weight. Um, yeah. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, let's define some. Um, let's define how are we going to think about the image? <clears throat> because I was thinking about every column being. A different sample and every row being a different frequency in the spectrum of that sample and I don't know why I found it I find it more intuitive this way but in the end there's no big deal actually in converting it to the other system uh, the other system being every row being a different sample no i don't know i'm uh, no no wait it's uh, the thing that i said first is correct uh, the, the what i don't know Let, let's see i'm i'm pretty uh, uh, yeah i don't know wait the oh fuck I, I cannot do it. I cannot do that with paint, actually. So I think we can 
to something more like let's say 800 800 say 800 by 800 so instead of making the image in paint I will create my own into uh, I will create my own with processing so time mm, I said time uh, I I don't know actually what do you mean let me let me take this type of sound reference but yeah time is deri derived from the fact that we live in time and space maybe let me see <clears throat> there should be uh, don't tell me no it, there should be a function that accepts uh, an array of floats uh, okay maybe there's not hmm Hmm. Okay, I don't know uh, duration, current time, jump channels, sample rate, no, get peaks, reverse buffer, unended, connect, disconnect, set buffer, set buffer, Array of float 32 arrays, two float 32 arrays will create a stereo source. I will create a mono source. Replace the current audio buffer with a new buffer. I think it should work, maybe? Mm. Though you can. <laughs> analog, uh, you can think of it as a. Um, what what's the name the um, table thing maybe basically you only generate the ta the the the, the, um, the sound you only use the the image as a table for the sound that you're creating and yeah, since we assume that you're not creating random noise, you're not putting random noise, the sound between every single row, uh, every single column should be kind of like uh, with some sort of continuity between it. Like if you create a line that goes across the image, you should hear like a pitch moving in a continuous way maybe if you move the you, like you 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 have like a, a a slider that controls where in the image you are maybe with table sense okay yeah but instead of having a a a uh, wave you have an array of spectrums so yeah let me create the test image uh, we can okay so let's say uh, I don't need a draw function I can just say stroke 255 and let's say line that goes from X that's zero Y is height and then the destination is with zero and I should say a uh, to see a line that goes from the top uh, from the bottom right uh, the bottom left corner to the top right corner 
maybe I should see that. Uh, what? 800 is a little bit too much. Maybe 400, it's fine. Uh, 400, okay, nice. Salve immagini con me. And then we just say sketch file, sketch, add file. Mm, can I import file? File, oh, don't tell me. Fuck. Oof. I cannot import a file, it seems like. Create file, can I? Hmm. Can I add any a new URL? Maybe if I do it like this, should I be able? No, no. Hmm. hmm. Uh, let me see. Uh, image upload free line. <laughs> El yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, mm, yeah, let, let's do it like this. Oof, did I do it? Yeah, for the, yeah, for, let's, let's just. Okay. 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 Let me see, control C, and now I should be able to wait. Okay, so okay, so let me um let me let me let me let me let me say uh let Oh, let input is equal and input is equal to load image maybe, and that's the link. But in quotes, it should be, and then I just say background image input input I should be able to say that and the outcome should be the same uh, okay no hmm wait a minute oh yeah of course if you fucking give me the, the yeah of course yeah, you need to give me this, not uh, the other fucking link. Ctrl V, and now, uh, okay, now. No, I'm not gone. You, you say lies. You say the lies. Can I move? Yes, I'm, I'm moving. Okay, so... Hmm. Now, <sighs> now, uh, what should I do? So let me think about it. Um, we can have a. Should I have a synth? object maybe that wraps the additional functionality that I have to add to this function maybe you know let's try it create file and it should be wait wait though wait let me because I need to, I need, uh, yeah, I need to, to fucking see 
what the hell am I doing? Because I I don't really know uh, the various functionality of the image object. Should be the same to processing, but I'm not really sure. So, huh? P five uh, P five element graphics. Uh, load image. Let me see. Uh, load image. Let me see. Uh, P five image. Okay, here it is. So. Hmm. Okay, it loads an image from a path and creates a P5 image from it. The image may not be immediately available for rendering. If you want to ensure that the image is ready before doing anything with it, place the load email. Email to supply a callback function to handle the image when it's ready. No. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but. Oh, but you don't say me what the fuck this does it have like a um, pixel buffer or maybe since I yeah if I say background yeah but um, yeah but what the fuck dude let me yeah, but uh, I I don't I don't have any way to access any pixel individual pixel for now in the fucking image. Let me see if I say pixels. Okay, this should be the the canvas pixels, and I don't want it. I want the pixel of the image. The image is I have it do not work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no. Can I say image dot pixel? I don't know. Yeah, but it. God damn it. Yeah, but if I say p five dot image dot pixels. Can I say that? Uh, P five dot image the pixels create canvas. Hmm. And cut first dot slide. Okay, see, yes, but if you fucking. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, there is a. There is a p5 dot image dot pixels. So. <clears throat> if I want a function, function. Uh, get. Uh, get all and I say image at the as the input. Um, let me see because the pixel in the pixel array is one dimensional. It's basically every single uh, value of the image is stored as a you can think of it as a stream of data, one dimensional like on a line you can write every single color on a one single line but it gets displayed as a two-dimensional picture so <clears throat> i need a way to access the well i need first of all i need the cut the image and the column number so First of all, 
I have the image and the width of the image and the height of the image. I can say uh, column. So if I have a column, okay, so for let i equal zero, i is less than image dot. Uh, I need to go through every single row and the rows are on the height image dot height why it doesn't highlight it did I misspell it if I say height no it, it doesn't highlight it. Doesn't like it. Okay, boss. So let's say let um let um values equals an array and values should be should be equals to how do I initialize arrays in JavaScript? Is it new array? It doesn't give me an error. The array literal notation is preferable. Oh yeah, I, I use push, I don't use a... okay. Yeah. I'm um, too used to Java. Okay, so now that I know the image height, I forgot the I++ here. And now I need to create a variable called input, the uh, index. And now I want to calculate the index. And index is equal to call by plus um, mm. Is it x plus y? I think so. Yeah, it should be x plus y. But I'm not sure. Cold plus i. Because if we have like col no, it's not. Cold plus i times image dot width. Because, uh, uh, let me explain it. So let's imagine that we have an image that's made up of uh, let's just say four four columns. Yeah, why well, should I should have like I should have put like a, a smaller smaller thing so let me delete this and then made four col four columns and four rows okay well, let me let me do like this instead of fucking around with the eraser and every single a, every single pixel is numerated like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 ta 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 7 8 9 10 11 12 and uh, 13 14 and 15 let's imagine that i filled up every single fucking number uh, the music in the background is uh, 
from the ambient breakfast uh, collab and today's goal is to take an image and using it as a table for an hypothetical wavetable synthesizer and I don't know how to do that so we're going to figure it out Okay, so let me roll a cigarette. So let's imagine that we have uh, we have this is our um, rows number increasing in this direction, and here the column number is increasing and basically what we want to calculate is given a row and column uh, value and index uh, we want to calculate uh, the corresponding what, what's inside that that square as you can see I for I said that here is a zero one two three four five six etc etc <coughs> and we want to calculate that number so that we can access it on the actual uh, array that stores the the variables. Uh, pa -pa -pa. So let me let me try let me try. Okay, so we have. Uh, I said that um, index is columns plus i, that's basically the row, times the image width. Because if I, if I want, if the row, oops, if the row is the zeros row, here, I just say the column is zero, the row is zero, and it's zero. Zero plus zero is zero. If I want the row to be one, hmm. Yeah, I fucked up. This is the rows, and this is the columns. Let me fix that. Okay, so can I fucking use a Oh, finally. This is the columns number and this is the rows number. So if I want the one, I, uh, I can input column number one and basically uh, the, the image width would be four, I think. And if I put zero, 0 times 4 is 0, plus 1 is 1. If I want 5, I should be able to say 1, because that's, that's the row number 1, column 2. I should be able to say hmm, image width is 4, so it's 6. So maybe it's image width minus 1. Yeah, it should be, I think. So let's just, let's just use image width minus one. Okay, so. It should be. Yeah, if it's not like that. Uh, yeah, but uh, the, uh, they are at the same index. So it's pixel. Uh, you can access it as pixels index. And that uh, say dot red dot blue. Uh, dot green 
or you should be able to access it as a regular array maybe I don't know you should be able to see it say zero one two uh, Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. 400 by 400, quarter by quarter, sage. No. Nope, no, no, no. And every single pixel is, uh, every si the, the value, the RGBA value, it should be stored inside of it, the one, uh, the, the second dimension uh, in of the pixel array. Let me just double check there. It should be, I'm pretty positive that's like this. Pixels. No, it's the sound here. No, I want, I want it. Okay. Pixels. Okay. Wait. Oof. You're right. Maybe. Yeah. Fuck it. You're right. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. Hmm. Now I need to account. If I say the color mode. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that that complicates the the thing. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. The first four, four values in this is 0, 3 and the array will be the RGBA values of the pixel at 0, 0. The second four values will contain uh, well, more generically to set the values for a pixel at x, y. Okay, so just just copy this and modify it for our purposes. So y d j y is the columns and I pixel density we don't need that uh, y plus j times width plus x times d plus 1 plus i uh, x now we need to figure out x is the column number but i is the loop through wait a minute Can I, is, isn't there a method to say get instead of set? <sighs> maybe, maybe, and I say maybe, I should do it, this in processing instead of because I'm pretty positive that processing the org uh, processing has a much more simple method to hmm. let me let me see let me see reference and uh, pixels yeah pixels you get the fun the get function p which c equals get no or grabs a section of an image yeah fuck it 
God damn it. Come on. Get into P image. Yeah. Man, this sucks. Uh, let me let me see if I say p5 dot uh, p5 dot image dot pixels dot get. If I if I get something, reference p5 get. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we can we can get away with it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Instead of fuck. Let's see because get fifty fifty. Can I can I say image dot get? Image dot get. So instead of of working with this array, we just say that values push uh, I should say image dot get columns i but then hmm yeah let me let me just say let uh, wait wait a minute because the get uh, Get a region of pixel from an image if no parents. The volume image effects and why are the only parents when a single pixel is extracted? And I assume that the same. So if the pixels are. If the only one pixel. Only one. Okay. Missing semicolon. But. What's okay? Let EMP was this and the RGBA, so I can say this maybe. And so I only I only take the uh, the red channel uh, for the. The image, maybe. I should be able to to say that, actually. So if I say console dot log uh, values at the end, I should be able to. Uh, load the image. Now let me just say get call here. When when it's done, image dot get was expecting a number a number for parameter. Uh, okay, no, no, I can I can do that. I cannot do that. Uh, so I can say the function on success. Success. I can just say uh, get call image input zero the column number zero. I should be able to do that on success. And then I get three pixels that are white. I guess so. Yeah, it works. It, it kind of works, maybe. 
it should be yeah yeah okay so it should be working okay so how many values do we have i don't know so now that we have a method to retrieve every single value for any given pixel hello hello audio we're doing work and it's it's kind of a mess to be honest kind of a mess 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 we're trying stuff now what i want to do is to create an object but I'm not sure how to create an object in JavaScript. JavaScript object. Let me see. Okay, I need to do it how to define. No, I don't need that. Uh, classes, maybe. I should find classes instead of objects. Class, just class. Uh, let me see. Class constructor, and then I just say this dot function, right? Uh, I, I should be able to say like this static it yeah I'm sorry if I'm if I'm reading this as in Italian but yeah I don't really hmm Uh, yeah. Uh, la, 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm, apparently I don't need the, this dot thing. So, yeah. Don't really care. So, I just say file. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to create a file. And it's being called like oscillator or maybe sample.js I don't know so now in index.html I want to uh, this I want to copy and paste this and I want to do sample.js I should it should be fine so now if I go here I should be able to take class sample and then okay let values tables array Oh no, I don't. I say this dot. This dot values. Why is it giving me. Give me the fucking tooltip. Why are you. Uh, constructor V. No, it's not C. I don't need to say that. And then I should be able to say values equals v this dot this dot values should be able to say that this properties must be methods mm, okay hmm 
Yeah, this sucks. Oh, okay, wait. No, I do... Yeah. I... I... I only do this instead of... I need indentation. This the values and then what I want to do is... Um, I want to... Um, I want also... This dot waveform. Hmm. What should I do? Uh, I can say like um, calc. I need a function to calculate the uh, uh, the the waveform that re should result from the values array, maybe. So, I can say um, this, no. should I say let waveform, okay, so first of all, let me say let OSC, no, I need to say D. <laughs> This dot OSC is equal to new P5 dot oscillator, and then I should be able to say sign, maybe. No, it's not um, fucking up real bad. P dot P5 dot sound file. I need to use a sound file. And the method here are does no sound file. I just need a sound file without a fucking file. Set buffer. Where the fuck is set buffer? Replace the current audio buffer with a new buffer. Process picks. Returns an array of timestamps. Now, reset the source um, frames, return the number of samples in a sound file equal to sample rate times duration. Yeah. Okay. Connects the output of a P5 sound object to input of another P5 sound object. For example, you may you make a negative dot file to an FFT for an effect. If no value is given, it will connect to the master object. And then should I be able to say save or something like that? Play maybe. Okay, play. Yes. Play the p5 dot sound file. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I didn't anticipate the how. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be so sure about how. I yeah set buffer include p sound library the problem is uh, array of flow 32 arrays to flow 32 arrays will create a stereo source one will create a mono source I think I can do that maybe flow 32 let okay let 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 just go with it. Let waveform equals a new array, and basically 
Yeah, but I, what do I want? I, are those buffer going from 1 to minus 1? I don't really understand. Get peaks, maybe? Set volume? Stop? Hmm. Get peaks. I think... I think the... Hmm... Send a sample down, it goes away... Uh, hmm... Oh my god... I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it tonight... Uh, yeah, it, it kind of sucks. Uh, it's... I think I'm not gonna do that today. Fuck me. And it sucks. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Yes. I don't know. I think I should really look into that and maybe get help from someone else that knows better than me so i think i'm just gonna call it off i'm sorry i wasted uh, i wasted a lot of your time but yeah sometimes you just need to yeah you just need to i don't know uh, i I thought it was simpler, but actually it's a little bit more difficult than I thought, so I think I think I will go and get some rest because I'm pretty tired, so have a nice day, I'm really sorry, and I hope that tomorrow I can go back and and know better about my experience and skills with uh, JavaScript. So, see you soon. <laughs>